is literally my favorite transformation ever. I'm like speechless. I don't even know how to talk right now. I could just be dramatic, but this is so good. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Yes, I'm in black and white. No, your phone is not broken. I have been reading your comments and I've been making tweaks to this series. One of them being that some of you guys don't like when I reveal the final look at the beginning, which is completely understandable. So I want to say hi to you guys, but I have to be in black and white so you guys don't see everything. But um, what's up guys? On uh, today's video, if you read the title and you saw the thumbnail, I'm recreating Nicki Minaj's iconic red sleek wig. I body this like I really did kill it so I hope you guys enjoy it but before we start this video I would just like to say thank you for tuning into this week's videos I reach you guys comments and this week my favorite comment was this one I'm inserted right here I posted on Instagram it was just so funny to me it was just goofy and so if you're watching this which I hope you are because I mean why not you subscribe to me then DM me on Instagram because I have a gift for you because your comment was my favorite comment of this week so I'll let you guys watch the video now again when you see your name in your comment, I would try to pronounce it, but it's like Gus Udi. I don't want to butcher your last name. But when you see this, DM me on Instagram, and I got a gift for you. Let's get started with this video. All right, guys, so the photo on the left is what we'll be recreating today. So as you can see, it is a bright red, so I thought it would be smartest and easiest to start off with blonde hair versus one bead of bleaching. That's a lot of damage and a lot of work, and it's easier to get a brighter, vivid color with blonde hair. I also made a closure wig instead of a frontal because it's a middle part, and I don't, I don't think you need a frontal for that, and closures are cheaper. And last but not least, her hair is like a very sleek, straight, blunt cut, so I decided to get straight bundles. I got them in 22 inches just so I could have, you know, some wiggle room. Room, but I'm gonna end up cutting these ends to make the cut more blunt. So let's get started. All right guys, so first we're going to color the hair. Now, I knew that I couldn't just use just a basic red dye for this because it's very vivid. And so I thought that by adding an orange, it'll intensify the red, which it did. However, if you're going to do this, if you want this bright red color, don't add as much orange as I added. I'm gonna add more red in a second because I felt like I needed more red, but it was still too much orange because after I dip dyed it, yes, it looked good, but I had to go in a second time and dip it into more red just to get that pure red color. So before doing the entire wig, because I'm being smarter about how I do things, I'm gonna do some test strands. So with an extra bundle, and I have an extra bundle, like two little pieces of blonde hair, I tested both. So I tested the first one, and I felt like it looked a little too orange to me, and so I'm gonna go in and add a little more red dye, and I'll show you guys like the comparison to see what I'm talking about, but um, I'm happy I did it this way. That way I don't like ruin the entire wig because we literally don't have time or the patience for that. So you guys will see that once I add a little more red, I um, dipped it and this strand I liked it much more it's just that when I did the full batch because of different measurements I forgot to add more red I don't know if you guys can see the difference uh, maybe you gotta have my eyes but I can see it so before we dip this wig you need to cover your lace with Vaseline okay if you don't do this then your lace is going to get tinted red and unless you have a red scalp you do not want that and so put a very generous amount of Vaseline on that and then we're gonna get you know back into our bowl back into our bag no that literally made no sense I'm so corny Jesus Christ so I'm gonna mix the dyes in here and then add a decent amount of water and dip the entire wig into that All right, so this part is a bit sped up, only because I've done this many times. However, I want you guys to notice that I initially dipped the closure into like the water, but I try my hardest to like make sure the dye is penetrating the hair without leaving the closure in this water for too long because I just did not want to risk 
tinting my lace and so I was very careful about that I went back in added more red dye um, I ran out of red dye by the way all the information like the names of the dyes and everything will be down below if I forget to say it but um yeah I just tried my hardest to avoid leaving the lace inside this water excessively long because that would have just ruined everything for me and I didn't want that obviously and so once I'm done with this I rinse with cold water not warm cold and then I'm gonna go into the studio I'm gonna part this hair and kind of just brush it out and then we're gonna dry it and style it So I went and combed the hair out and parted it into a middle part just so when I put it under my hooded dryer which you guys will see in a second it kind of like sets in this style because it's the style we're gonna get. This is the shedding I got, not too much. Oh and I made sure I like really like wrung out the hair before I put it under the dryer. And then I have my hooded dryer, I let it sit under there and then I um, blow dried the rest and now we are going to style it so I blow dried it straighten it um, I don't know if you guys would like to see that portion of the video just let me know down below and I'll include it next time I just thought it would have been boring but first I'm going to lightly pluck this part and when I say lightly I mean very lightly you never want to over pluck your part because it's kind of tricky to fix it and you just don't want to do that also I think that the more narrow the part is the more natural it looks I think when a part is very wide it doesn't look the most natural unless that's your preference um, I think it just all depends on how like the wig frames your face but Nikki's part wasn't white at all so I wasn't gonna like pluck too much and then I applied some oil brushed it out and then while it's still on this camera canvas head we are going to cut it so I'm going to move this thing on up so you guys see the bottom because I never show you guys me cutting the bottoms of hair if you guys peeped um, and I'm just going to take it and just cut it straight across as you can see in the photo that I inserted earlier and I'll insert it more times throughout this video I just don't want to like overdo it but it's a blunt cut and so I'm bluntly cutting the ends After cutting, I'm going to lightly bump the hair because in the photo, the ends look pretty bumped. Not super bumped, but they looked a little bumped. So I did that while I was still on the mannequin head just to make my life easier. And now we're about to install this wig. Alright guys, it is time to put on this wig. Now it just dawned on me that I forgot to like pluck like the closure closure when it was on the wig stand. But like her wig, now I'm going to insert a photo, a uh, reference photo. It... It doesn't look like the front is super customized. And she has the hair, where's that photo? She, ooh, it's kinda customized, oh my gosh. Okay, I'll customize it once on my head. But she has the hair kinda going forward. So I could be to get away with it. So before I put this wig on, I'm gonna tint the lace. I'm gonna use this airbrush legs, like this like leg spray. I forgot who I've seen do this. I see, I've seen a couple people do this, so I can't really pinpoint who gave me the inspiration for this but like if I could think of their name while editing I'll just put in this screen um but I'm gonna just try to tint the lace with that just to see if it works oh that looks yellow okay I'm gonna just I'm gonna just commit it looks like it's tinting though so that's pretty cool I just I don't know if this is my color I bought two colors I bought medium glow and light glow maybe I should have used light well, let's just try this on and see how it looks. I'm gonna use my wig fix band in order to help this stick on my head more. I don't know if I mentioned this in my last video or what. Or maybe I left a comment under my wig fix post. But I feel like wig fix, it works the best for closure wigs or like frontal wigs that are like custom made to your head. It works great with closure wigs, so I'm gonna use that. Just for some security. Oh, that, that looks pretty close to my skin tone. Well, it looks better than what it, it would have looked without tinting it. And that was so fast. Like it took seconds versus with powder, you have to like buff it in and stuff. So, hey, okay. So this is already looking really good. I think the length in which I cut it is perfect because it falls like almost right underneath my boobs. And in her photo, it's looking like that's exactly where it's falling. <gasps> okay, let's do this. Before I mold this down because I'm going to I'm gonna just tweeze a little bit just so 
we don't have a blunt lace line but like not a lot just a little bit but luckily hers isn't super customized she doesn't have baby hairs either so you guys see the difference it's making she makes it look a little more natural I'm gonna use my ORS gel. Now, it dawned on me that I haven't been saying the full name. It's the Fix It Grip Gel Ultra Hold infused with castor oil. And I'm going to put a thin layer like that. And it turns out, you know, actually, ooh, I could feel the texture on my head. And this stuff has oil in it, huh? Because it feels a little oily. It has to have something about oil. Let me wipe my head first and then put that gel. But, um,. Apparently this is made for wigs, so it makes sense that this works so good for laying down lace because it's supposed to be made for wigs. So that makes a lot of sense. It gets tacky pretty fast. I'll lay that down. Now I'm gonna cut the lace and just add more gel. Or, yeah, gel, I almost said glue. So what I'm gonna do is cut that and I'm gonna just drag this. I'm gonna go back and cut with zigzags later. Oh, this is going to look good. Ah! Oh my God, Pier Ooh, let me pull, pull this for a little bit. Oh, this is looking good. Ooh, okay. And pull that back. Honestly, I don't think I gotta cut no zigzags. I like this spray for tinting because transparent lace, whenever you get blonde hair, the lace is gonna be transparent, by the way. And so transparent lace, um, it has like this white tone to it sometimes. And so it's annoying when it comes to tinting it because it'll blend in. But tinting is like a different story because sometimes you can make it too dark. You just don't know. But I think this spray was so easy and effective. Ah, uh, who who did this first? I want to give them credit. Um, I think Raven Elise did it. I think it was Raven Elise, but I've seen someone else do this too, and I'll feel wrong. Like this wasn't my idea. Someone else did it. I think it was Raven Elise, but I've seen someone else do this trick before too, and it's bothered me that I can't remember. But. It's great. This looks really good. Oh my god. Okay. Now, I'm gonna just pluck a little bit of that hair in the front. I don't know if you guys saw what I just did. I feel like because this color, it's very easy for things to look wiggy. Hmm. Hers, I see what she did with hers. I'm gonna insert a zoomed up clip, or not clip, a photo. But you see how that front part's pushed back? So it's not so wig. Okay, I think I know what I have to do in order to get that effect. I'm gonna take this part and like separate it out. And I'm gonna just do some tweezing really fast. So I'm gonna speed this part up. Just watch what I'm doing. Hers, it's like, let me see. Take some spray, push that back. It's like she has it pushed back, but then it's going forward at the same time. More like that, more like that. If you guys look at the photo, if you guys will see what I'm talking about, like, it's like pushed back, so it looks more natural and not so blunt but then it's going forward a little bit. That looks more like the photo. Okay, okay, yeah, that, look, that looks more, is it identical? No, but that looks more of like the vibe she has. So I'm just using this got to be spray to push that back. And while I'm holding it, I'm bringing the hair forward just to get that look. But oh, I do need to tweeze some of this right here. Yeah, I need to tweeze some of this. 
I like this much more. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm talking about. Let me brush this out. But you see how this side just looks just a, just a slightly more natural. Like, yeah, we could have gotten away with how we already had it, but just doing a little more tweaking, and I'm still gonna like get more gel and like lay that down. But I think that looks better. And just imagine when we define the part. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna do this side really fast, and then we'll be back to make that really, really defined part. Cause if you look at the photo, the part is like super duper defined. That's a part. So let me do this side, and I'll be right back. I wish you guys could have just heard the scream I just let out, but I'm truly not I'm I as in present as in sorry happened I bodied this like this oh I was just going through a lot while filming this and I'm just it was worth it because this looks so good and we're about to make it look better with this concealer so I'm gonna use a lighter concealer than I typically would use because her part like I said is super defined I'm gonna take this matte cosmetics concealer palette uh, just call it pro conceal and correct palette I love these palettes I love them a lot actually and I'm going to use a angle brush and just go straight down the middle like that okay sorry and then I'm gonna just press that right on my skin don't worry I'm about to make it look better so in order to make that look better I always go over that and like almost like rub and blend it with my finger like press it down and like come on like massage the concealer in to the lace this looks so good to me I just want to thank those of you that kept pressing me for wig videos like oh we miss your wig videos I was like when I stop because I kind of got tired of wigs I'm not gonna lie because I was doing them so much I was like I hate them but thank you so much because since doing this series it's like I've rediscovered my passion and like damn like I love this stuff like I truly love it it's like it's, I think it's my gig you know I wish you guys could see me in real life this looks so good so I'm going to spray some got to be spare on this to make sure everything lays but I'm gonna spray it at a distance because if you spray it too close it's gonna give your hair that like wet look and you don't want that so I'm almost gonna let it rain over me I'm gonna take a brush and just brush through that you know just to make sure it's very sleek because her photo we really sleek and just make sure it's very flat Okay. Ah, uh, this might be my favorite recreation yet. Like, I'm I might be speaking too soon because we still got what like seven more episodes after this, and I have a good one planned, you guys, that I'm so excited about. I don't know if you guys peeped, but most of the styles that I picked, well, you only seen like three episodes. This being the third, I picked things that like. I haven't done before because I want to really challenge myself and I want it to be fun. So I got something planned that you guys are gonna like, I hope. But right now, I am just making sure we are sleek and laid. And I'm gonna take this sheen spray, spray this at a distance as well. I just, I like some sheen. I love how this stuff smells, it smells so good. By the way, I've had a shirt on this whole time. This is a tube top. Okay guys. We body that, but now we're gonna do makeup. And yes, I am going to include the makeup portion in this video because I have read your comments and you guys haven't peeped. I made a lot of improvements. And one of them is that you guys wanna see the entire transformation all the way through, you guys wanna see the makeup. So I'm gonna let me give the people what they want. So I'm gonna go chill out a little bit. I'm actually like wrap this with a scarf and just kinda of just like, I like to take breaks in between filming and chill out. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do the makeup. And then we're gonna be able to see this transformation all the way through. All right, let's do this makeup, y'all. So this is a clip when I first started my makeup and the complexion was off and it felt so heavy. And so I got rid of the bottom half. I kept my f uh, forehead foundation on because I didn't want to disturb my lace, but I decided to use a different foundation. I used my Bare Pro by Bare Minerals because more lightweight and my skin's breaking out again. I mean, you got to see later if you look very, very close, but uh, I wash my brushes, but I just got new brushes yesterday. So I'm gonna just start using those instead. But um, to conceal, I I am using my Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. I love this concealer, my favorite one. I use under my eyes, on my forehead, and on my chin because in her photo, she has a very highlighted look. I'm gonna insert her photo in a second, but I don't wanna like 
go crazy, you know, because I feel like you guys kind of already have seen it like at least like five times during this video. So let me know if I'm overdoing it, but um, she has a very highlighter look. So that's what I want to go for. Next, I'm gonna set the places I concealed using my Huda Beauty baking powder. If you guys have noticed, um, well at least I've noticed a common thing amongst the people who I've been recreating, their base is pretty simple. Honestly, their makeup looks have been very simple and not as detailed or, or like tricky or hard as I thought they would be, which I'm not complaining about, but they're pretty basic, at least complexion wise. And today's eye look was actually really easy too. But anyways, um, I'm going in with my Dragon Beauty Transformation Palette and making my under eye and face even more bright because like I said, she went for a very bright look. This is essentially like what I kind of do every single day. I'm gonna lightly bronze using Coco Naughty by Fenty Beauty. I'm gonna contour my nose and bring that contour a little bit into my brows because in her makeup look, it seemed like that what was going that's what was going on. And so um, I want to do that as well. And then I am going to take some blush. Now she had a really cute pink blush. I'm gonna insert the photo again so you guys can see. And it was like a Barbie pink to me. And so I tried to start off with this MAC blush, but it wasn't giving me the effect I wanted. So I went in with this Too Faced blush that was slightly more pink. And I just applied that very lightly and I was able to get the look that I thought looked closest to hers. And so in the middle of this, I decided to set my face. I don't know if I like insert this in all my makeup videos, but I set my face a good three times in between the makeup process and this is one of them. So I went and did one eye off camera and my brow and now I'm gonna show you guys how I got that. So first you're gonna wanna prime your lids and then for the palette, I'll be using this soft glam palette. The shades will be listed down below. I'm gonna start off with Rustic, which is like a like a cool tone brown. And then I'm gonna use a shade next to it, Cypress Umber, in order to deepen that brown. Her look wasn't really intense at all. Um, and when you're doing this brown, try not to go too heavy handed because her lid was like white. And so I feel like before you do your lid, the brown looks lighter than it needs to be, but you have to remember that her lids, like the white was kind contrasting off the brown so it made the brown appear to be darker than it was because of the contrast in colors and so if you're doing this look try not to go too heavy on the brown before you do your lid um, and then after you do your lid if you want to be a little darker then do that but once I did my lid the brown I had laid down although it looked very light to me at first once I applied the white shadow to my lid it you know it looked better it looked more defined and so that's what you want highlight on her cheek from what I could see in the photo and then I noticed that 
um, her upper brow was very, very bright. And so I took my transformation palette again and I placed it underneath my brows. This is not something I typically do, so it was different, but it looked pretty good. So after applying even more powders, I set my face again, mainly focusing on the eye area to set that eyeshadow in place and to set my brows. And now for lips, I started to apply uh, this plum lip liner by MAC, but I didn't think that it matched her lip color. And I wanted to use cork, but I couldn't find cork anywhere. So I used a light coat of chestnut and blended it on my finger. And then I took these two buxom glosses. I started off with this like matte light pink because her lips are pretty light pink. And then I'm gonna go back in with another light pink. And after this shade, I got the shade I wanted. So now we're gonna remove these clips. We're gonna fix these little clip marks in our hair. And then I'm gonna go get dressed and we'll finish this video out. And if you have made it to this point in the video, first of all, thank you. And second of all, comment a fire truck. You have to, just let me know that you made it. need to change my Twitter name to Arnell Minaj because this is guys I'm so happy I could cry like this is like literally to date like I just posted transformation that I thought I loved but I love this one even more like this is so good I don't know what to say I don't know how to say goodbye to you guys at this point um I hope you enjoyed this video if you did which I hope you did, because I enjoyed the F out of filming this. If you're not already subscribed, at this point, I do not know why, but the choice is yours, babes. The button's right down below somewhere. I don't know if it's right or left, but it's down below. Just check for it. And um, yeah, guys, I don't even like, this is literally my favorite transformation ever. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I really, 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 really do. Like more than you've ever enjoyed any of my videos. Cause I, this is like my favorite. This is like my favorite. So um, I'll see you guys on Monday. Not sure what we're gonna post, but I'll see you guys Monday at 6.30. Then I'll see you Wednesday at 6.30. Then I'll see you next Friday at 6.30. Next Friday, my transformation. I'm gonna just put into the universe. I'm body that too. So stay tuned. I love that you guys are enjoying this series. Like. I was so nervous to even start a series. I've never done one before, but you guys are loving it, so that makes me happy. And so yeah, I'll see you guys on Monday.